Well, we've taken the internet on the road, so here we are at a show. The lovely wife's got her stall set up here. I've been roped in to help out. The lad's turned up, so you get to check out what we're up to and all. Ta-da, look at us go. We're at the Lumen Benz Motorsport no more. How cool is that? Well, I don't really know. It's pretty cool, it's pretty fascinating. It's a little bit out of there, or a bit out of my comfort zone, but hell, I thought it was too good an opportunity not to show you what goes on in the bush. I was walking past this Udia not so long ago, and I thought, I wonder if that's an amphibious vehicle. It looks like a speedboat, but of course, on second thoughts, it actually is a burnout ute, I think, because I don't think they've got an engine in the front. I think they've stuck it in the back. It would be kind of cool if that was a prop, though, wouldn't it? Bloody thing would fly. <laughs> Imagine that on the river. Whee! <laughs> no, nah, anyway, I'm, not, I'm just assuming it's a burnout machine. Way too much fun, I reckon. Golly gosh. I says, I think it has a sign on here somewhere that says, admire me, but don't touch me. It's a bit like my story of my life. I was just checking out the Ned Kelly poster here. It's kind of cool. We've got the cops sitting at the shop that's burning, uh, the old Glen Rowan Inn that was burning down. It looks like they're toasting marshmallows, but anyway, I don't think they were. Kind of looks like they're toasting marshmallows. Look at him here, just waiting. <laughs> I thought I'd be out of my element, but check this shit out. We've even having farm racing. They've got utes racing. I'm pretty sure that's a bit snazzier than my ute, but anyway, how cool is that? Don't tell him, but there's a bloke over here on his pee plate, so they could be dangerous. Do we barrack for somebody? Who are we gonna, who are we gonna barrack for? I'm conflicted now, am I a Nissan man or a Holden man now? I don't really know. Okay, I think I've got my car. I reckon we're gonna barrack for Fat Freddy, how cool is that? He's got something about a good time growing, but now, I'm not really sure, but you could play on that on a few different levels. I reckon go Fat Freddy, now we have to figure out how the hell we get to watch this race. Oh, that'll try us out. <laughs> come on, oh, here they go. Drum roll, come on Fatty. If nothing else, it's got a cool name. And I'm not really sure about Miss Moneypenny, I'm not sure what she's doing with Fat Freddy, but I guess the good times are rolling on. Might be a little bit of a little, hang on. Might be a little bit presumptuous, but one day might be a Bush Speed Company racing car out there somewhere. Well, perhaps just a bumper sticker. Here we go. And it's on. Woohoo! Oh, here he comes. Go, Fat Freddy. Go hard. Just doing a warm up now, apparently. See, I'm very informed about all this. What do you reckon if I went back to mum and said I had one of these? <laughs> I just put one up. position. <laughs> and I'm not sure. Are we really racing or what are we doing? Is it slightly more confusing than horse racing? I'm not really sure if we started or not. Uh -oh. That can't be good. I don't think that can't be good. He's got a bit of blue smoke coming out of his tail. I don't think we'll get any awards as filming racing crews because apparently it's actually real racing tomorrow. But how cool is that? We've got random utes running around the circuit. I want one. If you're ever speculating what you should do with all your spare cash, here's one option for you. You can just go racing car driving. Whew. I think it's a long way between my reality and this reality, but how cool is that? There's some serious preparation that goes into all this, isn't there? Look at this. They're trying to, they've got to set up all their technology so they can watch the race from here. Unbelievable. I'm pretty sure tomorrow we won't be allowed in this section because this will be like highly excitable. 
These blokes have got more tyres than we got in our whole town. <laughs> well, I've seen a few pop-out caravans around the traps, but this is the first pop-out truck I've seen, so that's cool as that. Look at that, I've expanded. Maybe this, what was that guy's, the fat, fat Jack, what was his name? What was that Ute name? Oh, Fat Johnny, no, Fat something. What was his name? Come on, help me out. I don't fucking remember. <sighs> I don't think it is either, but I can't think what the name is. It was Fat something. Oh, hell. Eddie, no. Oh, come on. Play the tape back so we know what the youth's name was. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a pop-out truck, so that's all I was going to say. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Even the safety cars get cooler as the races go on. Yeah. If I was racing, it'd probably be just the beating up Datsun. Shall we see if it's locked? <laughs> it's got the keys in. <laughs> That's my broken down you. At least we didn't barrack for him. Well, that was a pretty cool racing car. He's even tried his own bin. If he breaks down, he can trash himself. The Porsches are pulling out. Come on, we gotta see this. I think the Utes are cooler. Well, I tell you what, that's interesting. You can't even make a five pin turn. You have to actually reverse yourself out of the pits. That's something different. I guess they're just sweeping bends, or maybe you can only turn when you're going at speed. I don't know. Me, I don't know too much about racing. Mr. Armand's even here. We were driving in here last night, and I saw that on the bloke's window, and I says to the missus, look at that. The Armand people are sponsoring the Porsche car races. And she goes, don't be daft, that's actually his name. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's some action. <laughs> Whew, that's a bit scary. <laughs> young fellas that spent a fortune on their extractors have got nothing on these boys. <laughs> Sound like a very angry bunch of bees. Does the black flag me one lap to go? I'm not really sure I'm such a car racing nut. Whew. Hell, I'm worn out, I'm just watching. <laughs> you wouldn't want your brakes to fail, would you? <laughs> It'd be an awful mess. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of a random exercise, isn't it? But the regional Riverland development people have put this on for us. They've had a showcase tent. The On The Run boys have put on a spectacular event. So who am I to not to turn up? Honestly, it's pretty cool, I reckon. All I need is a few million bucks that I could get in that Porsche. <laughs>